Hey, hey everybody, Bill here. I am making this video real quick uh, for a customer who is having some issues with a file uh, that she purchased for me off of Etsy. So she is working with Silhouette Studio. I'm hoping that this video can help her. Um, all right, so we're gonna get started. The file that I'm using, for whatever reason, the .svg and .ai files will not open in this software for me. And I don't know if it's because I have the free version and I don't have an account with the with them or anything like that. Um, I'm doing this just for support to help her create her, her product. So I'm gonna use the DXF file. So I'm gonna go over here to open and I'm gonna find my file, which is pawornaments.dxf here. Click okay. All right, so it is loaded. Okay, now I'm gonna zoom in. Apologize if this is a little, um, sketchy as far as my usability i've never worked with this software before so please forgive me all right so first i'm going to select this throws me off but i'm going to select just this you know whatever paw i'm working with or whatever object i'm working with and i'm going to group it so come up here to the group selected shapes that way it's all together as one right now okay now i want to add a name to it so i'm going to click on the text tool we're going to go with Josh, just for now. Okay. So now I'm going to grab this and move it. Obviously position it how I want. I'm just going to throw this together real quick. Like I said, I'm not trying to do anything other than show her how I got it done. So, okay. So we're going to go with that. Okay, now I'm going to select this one. I don't know if you can, if there's an easier way to do this, but this is what I figured out. So I'm gonna click on it, right click, make compound path, do the same thing with the letters or the text. So, uh, click on it, right click, make compound path. Okay, now I should be able to highlight both of them. So I'm holding shift to select the other one as well. So I got them both selected and I'm gonna come up here to the weld and weld it. And there we go. Now I've got this. Again, I don't know what happens after this. Hopefully it works for her um, and works for, you know, other people as well. So thanks for watching and have a good day.